does the narcissist really think they're superior to you? Narcissists often appear to have an overly high opinion of themselves. They can seem excessively proud of themselves. Arrogant, vain, conceited. Showing an excessively high opinion of their appearance, abilities or worth. They may be condescending or patronising. Emphasising that they regard certain things as being below their dignity or level of importance. Behaving as though they think they are superior to others. But do they really believe that they are superior? Do they really believe that they are, a, that they are of a higher standard or quality? The answer is no. Narcissists don't really believe that they are superior to you. It's an act, and they are also a part of the audience. Everything they do is designed to make themselves believe that they are superior to those around them. But in reality, they actually feel as though they are inferior to most people. They always feel as though someone is more physically attractive, more able, or more wealthier than they are. They are constantly comparing themselves to everyone around them. And naturally, there are always going to be people who they perceive to be superior. So deep down, narcissists are always existing in a state of feeling inferior to everyone around them as there are always going to be things that people can do better than them. If you want to know how the narcissist really feels about themselves, pay attention to how they spend their time. Pay attention to the people they associate themselves with. Many narcissists are stuck in dead-end jobs, not doing anything with their lives. They associate with other people who are in the same position. People who drink or do drugs. People who do not value themselves. For the narcissist to engage in these activities and associate themselves with these kinds of people, they cannot value themselves as well. So deep down they will feel inferior to you. Because a person who values themselves is not going to put themselves in that position. They are going to value their time. They are going to value their bodies. And they are going to be very selective about where they spend their time and who they associate themselves with. We cannot succeed at everything in life. There are always going to be things that we are not good at. But narcissists cannot accept this way of thinking. They experience fear, shame, jealousy and insecurity whenever they perceive that someone may be better than them at something. They cannot accept that there are always going to be people who are going to surpass them in certain qualities, abilities or activities. And that's just a part of life. But rather than feeling down about that, you could realise that there is no one like you. 
You are one of a kind. And that's where your power is. Your power comes from being the greatest version of yourself rather than being a second rate version of someone else. However, the narcissist accepted from a young age that who they really are is never going to be good enough. That person is never going to be able to compete against those who are more attractive, more able or more wealthier. And that made them feel inferior to everyone around them. Because almost everyone you meet is going to be more able at something than you are. Depending on their natural ability or what they practice. But rather than accepting that this is not only a part of life and it is also a good thing. As it is something we can learn from to improve ourselves. The narcissist gets triggered by anyone who is better at something than they are. Especially if it is something that they feel they should be good at. Especially if it is something that gets a person excessive attention and admiration. Because the narcissist wants to be the center of attention. They want to be the ones who everyone is admiring. If everyone is focused on someone else, it makes them feel inferior. It makes them feel worthless and, and insignificant. And this is something they've experienced from a very young age, where people have paid attention to someone or something other than them, which then, which then made them feel as though this other person or thing is greater than them. This is where the narcissist then chose to disown certain authentic parts of themselves, which they deemed to be defective or inferior. And they then took on the qualities or traits of this person or thing. This is a process that then continued for the rest of their lives, where they would pick bits of other people and use whatever they perceived to be desirable or attractive. And they then used this to create their false image or false self. This character, who they now believe to be superior to everyone around them. And if they don't think that someone is superior to them, it's because they believe that person shares the same qualities or traits as their false self. They will see that person as an extension of themselves and may even live vicariously through that person. So even if they perceive that person as being superior to them, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't cause an injury or make them feel bad. In their minds, that person is an extension of them because they believe they share the same qualities or traits. But of course, this is only in their minds and you may not see any connection between them and that person, but you will notice if they see, if they see them as extensions if they are kind towards them or try to befriend them. This means that they are projecting their imagined positive traits onto that person. They see it as though they are a part of them. But other than that, everyone else is seen as being inferior to them. Everyone else is meant to serve them and cater to their needs. But this is really just a coping and defense mechanism for how they really feel about themselves. Deep down they feel inferior to almost everyone around them. They constantly compare themselves to people as they measure their worth or usefulness by their perceptions of those around them. which is actually quite detrimental to their false image because they constantly find people who they perceive to be more attractive, more able or more wealthier. 
they find themselves going through the day just doing everything they can to protect the false image because they always see someone or something that they perceive as being superior to them and this is what they will often put beneath them When they go out of their way to target someone, it's because that person has made them feel a certain way. That person has made them feel inferior. So the only way that they can feel superior to that person is to put them down, insult them, publicly humiliate them. And they will often do this in front of people if they can get other people to believe it, it makes it more believable to them. But these remarks are all coming from a place of inferiority. They are all coming from a place of not feeling good enough. We cannot give someone that which we don't already possess. To make someone feel as though they are not enough, we must already feel that way about ourselves. And that is how you can tell by what they say and how they treat themselves, that deep down the narcissist does not think they're superior to you. It's an act. And it is designed to protect them from how they really feel about themselves. They feel as though they are inferior to you. They feel worthless and insignificant. They just don't ever want to acknowledge it. So they disown these feelings about themselves and project them onto those who they perceive to be superior to them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissivercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.